The pillow or the foundation for us is the Word of God. When we talk about the Bible, we talk about the, the truths that we hold, uh, the Word of God. Uh, not only do we, do we hold these truths, but these truths hold us. And so everything we do is rooted and based in the Word of God. It is our foundation. It is our, uh, our, our core compass uh, for, uh, for life and living. Uh, when we talk about pillars, uh, the vertical members, things that we build, uh, that are, are strength, that are uh, points, uh, reference points for us. One of the things that uh, that this ministry, the ministry is central, one of our focus uh, is to to build strong and stable families. Yo, come, they told me. Come, they told me. A newborn king to see. A newborn king to see. New, new, a newborn king to see. A newborn king to see. Pa rubba pum pum. Our finest gifts we bring. Our finest gifts we bring. Pa rubba pum pum. To lay before the king. To lay before the king. And so if we're going to change this world, we got to start with personal renewal. We've got to start at the grassroots, at, the, at, 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 the, at the, the, the building block of society. The building block of society is the family. What strengthens the family strengthens society. When families falter, society falls apart. And so, if we're going to have a strong city, a strong nation, then we've got to build strong families. And so, that is what God has called us to here uh, at Central, in the central part of the city, in the heart of the urban, of the, uh, urban community, is to raise up and to build up godly dads, to challenge men to take their rightful place as leaders and lovers, in their home, to be the priest in their home. And so we start with that, uh, that personal renewal uh, of dad. When dad grabs hold to Jesus, and when dad becomes that man of God, uh, and then he love, he'll love his wife as God has called him. He'll raise his children in the fear of God. But it starts with men. It starts with men being a step up dad. Uh, dads that will answer their call, dads that will stick through uh, uh, thick and thin, dads that won't punch out and walk out, but dads that will hold out uh, until God brings change. And so, so we need godly fathers, we need godly husbands, but it starts with a godly man. And so it starts with personal renewal. Uh, my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, when I get the vertical plane right, it is my relationship with God. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and then he will add all things unto me. So I first got to plumb the vertical plane, and then God will take care of the horizontal. You see, the cross is a plus. God is always adding, adding, adding into our life. See, so if you take the vertical plane, you're left with what? Just the horizontal. And, and the horizontal by itself becomes a minor. <laughs> That's negative. So anytime we try to do life without Christ, it's negative. And so there's no mystery why we have so many people that are, that are washing the shore, so many lives that are running around and run them up because we're trying to do life without the architect and the, the designer of life. He has the road map. He has the compass for us. And so, uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, when you buy an automobile, one of the first thing you look for in the car is what? The manual. You know, because in the manual, the manufacturer knows how the car should operate. Well, we have the manual. It's called the Holy Bible, you know. And that's our manual. That's our, uh, our manual for life and for living. It's the B-I-B-L-E, 
basic instructions before leaving earth. 